ready for Africa? Yeah, I am. It is nice to see a camera. Finally, we are crossing to a new continent. You arrive in Melilla, Melilla, Spain. Ah, okay. Your tickets and your boarding cards. And now you go to the ship. <laughs> yes. From Almeria in Spain, we took the ferry to Melilla, a small town located on the African continent, but Spanish territory. Ready for Africa? Yeah, I am. From there, we crossed by land to Morocco. For seven months, we cycled across Europe, where our cultures are familiar to us. Now we were crossing to a continent where we hadn't been before and our first impression of Africa was not what we expected. First minute in African continent. I have to say, it feels like a Finland. <laughs> it totally feels like a Finland. It's really cold. All right, rock and roll Africa. We really haven't checked the map where we are going in Morocco, so we need to do that. Um, now we are here. The route he suggested was this one. This is airport, yeah? Yeah, yeah. So let's ask for the way to the airport and then we can start this road. The one centimeter is 10 kilometers. Yeah. So we get somewhere here today. Yeah. We are in a line to cross the border. Let's go. We crossed the border and now we are officially in the Moroccan side. All right, we go. This is just fantastic. Most of the people, when they see us, they just wave hands, say hi and tell, welcome to Morocco. Our first night in Morocco and our first campsite. I need to go and collect some firewood for tomorrow. All the night it's going to rain, so it's good to have a dry wood for tomorrow morning. Good morning. We make something for breakfast, I don't know what really. What would you like to have maybe for breakfast? I don't know, I ate a lot of peanuts already. I was thinking to make some couscous. Couscous and coffee. That sounds good. Okay. Huh? Life is good. It's going to rain very soon. We need to be fast. It slowly started to feel more like Africa. The skies turned blue and the weather started to warm up. The landscape was absolutely stunning, but also very dry. Oh, we were really dead. I was so hungry, I was just shaking. <laughs> we had some food, feels better. We had some couscous, we made it yesterday morning. And some chickpeas, some tuna. Oh yeah, I start to feel like I could cycle again. When I think about how you feel again, maybe you want to lie down for a short while. I think you feel like that. Change totally now. Yeah. It's closed anyway. It's totally closed. In Morocco, we didn't have to worry too much about the shops being open, since almost everyone here on the countryside has their own small farm and produce most of their own food. It's great to support local farming. Here, the brother of a shop owner picked us some vegetables from their own garden just next to the shop. Oh, 
herbs, salad, beans. And that's the onion. Feels right to get the veggies straight from the farm. Those veggies taste just too good. Last night we slept in this olive farm and the farmers, they gave us a bottle of olive oil. It's so tasty. It's amazing, really. Unfortunately, we can't take all of it, so we need to take some of it. We are being really spoiled in Morocco. Anytime we sleep in the morning, there's breakfast. These people's hospitality is amazing. They're so kind. Do you think we're supposed to put milk on this also? No, like I, don't know. Spain? I don't know. Let's try just the milk. Yeah, I just want to see how it feels. Mmm! He told them today morning they will milk the sheep and this is the, it's a fresh from the... It's really nice. Mm. I don't know if I have drank sheep's milk. Mm. Here is coffee or tea. 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 Yeah. Here there is eucalyptus forest on our left and right side. They smell so good. All eucalyptus trees around us now. It smells so nice. Fresh, fresh winds. Especially I have a little bit my nose running. It's really good for me. Maybe we need to sleep tonight here. We are a little bit in a rush. We have almost 13, 8, 38 kilometer, no, 36 kilometer till next town. And we have almost one and a half hour time till sunset. I hope we can make it. It's been very hot in this area and it's good to have a shower. Last shower we had, it was about a week ago. Ooh, it's refreshing. <laughs> go to ask from this house if we can sleep overnight in their backyard. The tent is almost like normal, except for all the wind noise. I put extra, extra rope, and thanks to the this house owners, they gave us a really big stake, so we can put those ones on the ground. I, I think we might just fly away at some point, <laughs> it feels like that. <laughs> and we think it's going to be this windy all night, yeah? I think so. Sabah al khair. Good morning. Good morgan. The tent is still standing. Today was supposed to be the windy day, but I don't see the wind. I felt some, at some point we are just going to fly. <laughs> I was really worried about the the top layer of the tent mm. coming off like just the stitches breaking because it was so strong yeah it was let's see how it looks outside looks very very nice Bye. good morning Morocco morning Morocco yes. lovely it's really really nice weather yeah it looks like a and it's okay, no problem. Uh, I did put a little bit of ropes here, as you can see. This is a breakfast our Moroccan neighbor offered us. I'm really curious to why there's three, three cups. I don't know. Cheers. 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 These breads and tea is so tasty.
Fame, I got a bit of a flu a few days ago and now I'm starting to feel it also. So we haven't been cycling very fast or very much. Well, we are never, we are not in a race, you know. This is a life. We need to have a time to look at the culture, to understand the culture, nature, people. So it's, it's good to be slow. We give them back our breakfast table. It was very tasty breakfast. All right, let's go. Bye bye. Bye bye. bye, -bye. They have a really, really lovely, lovely family. It's fantastic to be with these local people. They are so nice. Very friendly, very generous, beautiful people really. We just got water, somebody stopped in the middle of the road and just gave us a water. Cheers! Bye bye! This is fantastic! This country is so beautiful. It is nice to see a camel in the side of the road. I mean, Dormitory or whatever it was, I don't remember. Salam alaikum. Salam alaikum. Salam alaikum. Salam alaikum. Karak. Mark. Yeah. The All good. Hey, yeah. All, all is glad. All hey. is good. Hey. Where are you? Huh? Don't worry, man. Nah. I am like you, poor. Why no? Nah, I am like you, poor. Hey, why no? I am like you, poor. Chocolate. Ah. I can't stop. Hey. Grubel. Okay. Hey. Okay, I'll be look. Hey, I'll be look. Go. Okay, okay. Yeah. Hey. Oi. So many. Nani? <laughs> Nani? <laughs> so a bit off seems like there's a sandstorm. There is a sandstorm. Strong wind. Good morning. I woke up to this beautiful view. And it smells so good from this hay. We slept in this farm yesterday. It was a quite a stormy day yesterday and we cycled and we didn't want to put our tent up again. It's very nice to wake up to this kind of signaling. This one's mother, that one. Mother. <laughs> you put the chicken egg under the under turkey. I did the same, man. Around most houses you see turkey, chicken, sheep and goats that get to wander around freely. Here our host is preparing the signature Moroccan couscous. It's usually served with beans and meat for dinner. Sun is shining, there is no sandstorm anymore and life is very good. Same place we came yesterday, now feels very different without a storm. So peaceful. You go for food and dying. Whew. 90 degrees we changed our route, so wind shouldn't be that bad. We are 10 kilometers from Midlet and we stayed in this petrol station last night. 
Day after tomorrow, we will head towards the Atlas Mountains. We will have a good job there. And we start to cycle towards Midlet. We're gonna to spend one day in a hotel over there to wash ourselves and wash some of our clothes. Now I will start to pack while Matilda is doing some computer work and, and we are off to the mountains. I think, I don't know, today maybe we cycle around 30, 40 kilometers and camp somewhere and then tomorrow we make, uh, we make around 60 kilometers. It will be almost all the time uphill. That will be interesting challenge. These are very clean, I think. We went to police station over there. We showed them our route on a map and we asked them their opinion about the security on the road and they told us no problem at all about the security, we can go. So we go. Yes, <laughs> fantastic. Today is the day we hit the Atlas Mountain. I'm really looking forward to that. This place is really, really nice. Beautiful stone wall around this small farm. Few different kind of birds are singing also, it's just amazing. In Morocco now is spring and apricots are just growing. And here we have figs. After a few months it will be so tasty all of that. But unfortunately we won't be here. We got the flat tire. But at least we got some fresh bread. Oh yeah. That makes up for some of it. This bread was baked over there. Really nice. The air pressure was a little bit low. That's the reason it got it got flat. Uh -huh, it's here. Something very sharp. This was a proper stuff. When the air pressure is five bar, then you really don't have this flat problem normally. Of course it can happen, but there's a very less chance for it. That's it. It's a little bit late because we have all the day uphill, 60 kilometers, and it's 12 o'clock, but it's okay. Those are the mountains we are going to cross, Atlas Mountains. It is super, super warm, really warm there. <sighs> Almost 40 kilometer, 45 kilometer to El Rish. But we have climbed quite a lot. If we are lucky, we don't have to climb anymore. I don't know, we don't have the the top of map of this area so we don't know exactly what it looks like other than climbing <laughs> let's see Most of the afternoons in Morocco we had wind that slowed down our cycling a lot. On a road that we were cycling at 20 km per hour in the morning, our speed dropped to 8 km per hour when the headwind picked up. This can be physically and mentally challenging. And we didn't always have the energy to cook. Like this day when we chose to rather eat two days old couscous that wasn't in the greatest shape anymore. It was not the best decision, but we are still alive. Those are over there are all date trees. Mmm, super. Thank you. Fantastic. This is how you save water. I wash my hands here. Goes over there. Flushes the toilet. Fantastic. Oh. 
But landscape in Morocco is so diverse. It's really difficult to explain how beautiful it is. After a few days in the mountains, we decided to spend one night at a guest house. I think we found the, we found the guest house. According to the children, it's this one. There's no sign or anything. Let's see. It's a bit dark in here, but maybe you can see. Very nice. Very nice. Okay. It's a nice view, really. Really love it. We're getting out of this guest house, go towards Erfurt. She had a very hard time. I still have a hard time. This country sucks sometimes. Don't get me wrong, every country sucks sometimes. The hard part about a bicycle tour around the world is not the cycling itself. One day up in the mountains we had a series of bigger culture shocks and it took a good few days for me to process what had happened and regain strength to move forward. All right, we are packed and ready and we hit, we hit the road. We have 100 kilometers to Sahara. Yusuf's mom makes this bread that's kind of like a pie. It has onion and carrot and stuff inside and it's really nice. By the way, can I have a little? Mm, all over. And here comes Yusuf with more bread. Thank you. Thank you, Thank you so much. Thank you. Yes. Thank you. Thank you. Fantastic. I need to put it here, baby. Have a good day. Bye bye. You too. Bye bye. bye, -bye. We need to look at the map if we can go this road or if we have to go back to the main road. Both and Rashid, yeah, we are here. Well, we can go wherever. I think they were trying to wrestle. Ugh, that would be so much fun. Look, Ali, take the single egg. Yes, single egg. We take some water here. We had a few days up in the mountains. And now we are out. Now we are cycling down towards Sahara. We're gonna have a couple of thousand kilometers of straight road. Officially we are in airport now. We are in Erfurt and we look at the map to see where we are going next. Where was that? I lost the dunes. You lost the dunes. If we would have looked at this map, then we would have known what to expect, you see. Mm, yeah, yeah. A green yeah. area. Yeah. Let's look at where else we have dunes. Nowhere, I think. Here? Yeah, but we're there not is, going that's there. That's it, yeah. No, we're not going there. That's, a, that's only a place in Morocco, it has it, I think so. Cool, we did a good decision to come here, I think. Yeah. Oh, hold on. So the, this is the one. Uh, uh, shall we go somewhere else and eat and have an orange? Is that okay? I need to pee also. Is that okay or not okay? No. It's not okay, okay. No, the one's orange, that means most of the one's orange. We arrived to Sahara almost. We can see the big dunes. We have around 30 kilometers to Merzouga. Which is the touristic dune town. <laughs> but we need to change some more money, so we have to go there, unfortunately. Touristic towns are not good, but what to do? We have to go there, yeah. I have 
never seen dunes before. They are incredibly beautiful. <laughs> there is so many tourists here. To be honest, that's not that good. That means high price and quite annoying to be. It also often means bad quality food, unfortunately, in the touristic places. We go and see if they have some water and some, some food. We came here to this hotel to eat, but after knowing the price of the tea, I don't think we can afford eating here. <laughs> so we have some veggies mm. and we continue. Same price as Helsinki. It's unbelievable. I'm gonna come, baby. I think with that one and this tea, we end up farting very well. What do you think? Ah! This tea is all like a no. Anglais. Anglais, yes. Where are you from? Finland. 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 Oh, Finland. Finland, yeah. Bicycle. No, motor. No, bicycle. Bicycle. How many days? Eight months. Eight months. From Finland to Finland to Morocco. Morocco. Seven thousand kilometers. But yeah, it's now quite. We normally we live in a tent, oh, uh, but so now dark. we wanna to find somewhere because I'm a little bit sick. Yeah. We want to some sick? yeah a little bit sick. I had a little bit fever mm -hmm. yesterday. So. Yeah. But we, can... some, uh, we are the doctors. Ah. I can give you some medicine in Chinese. Ah, <laughs> fantastic. <laughs> Thank you so much. I appreciate that highly. Oh, really? Fantastic. <laughs> you, you are here? We are here, yeah, for, for a while. We are here. Really, thanks. No, no, no. Just now. Thanks. Okay, that was fantastic. Uh, you, well, when will you come back? Uh, we go around the world for 10 years. <laughs> For ten, ten years. years. Ten years go yeah. around the world. Yeah, yeah. And we will come to China also. Oh uh, yes, we yeah. come to China. Thank you so much. It thank you so much. This really, thank you so much. How am I supposed to use that? You know, I have a little bit like a fever. Uh, Last night sorry. went up, came down. Went yeah. up, came down. Like a Take went a maybe thirty-eight, came thirty-six and a half. No, so you use it. I just use it. Yeah. Uh, but I can give it back to you, I can use it. Ah. No, 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 of course. Ah, really. Thank you so much. It's for and you. this is good, I appreciate it highly. And this is good for, for the fever? Yes, 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 yes. yes. Okay, lovely. And you put it only here? Yes, yes. Uh, oh, okay. But you cannot eat. No eating, okay. Not eating. It smells very good. Yeah. Fantastic. It smells like a tiger bomb. Yeah, I guess it's <laughs> It is the tiger bomb. I tell you. It would be nice if you could eat it, but we cannot eat it, unfortunately. Does it feel better? No. Yeah, it smells exactly like tiger yeah. <coughs> mm. yeah, This Chinese medicine feels really good, actually. Really, really good. It's like a tiger bomb, but it's not like a tiger bomb. I mean, it is like a tiger bomb, but it doesn't act like a tiger bomb. Here in Merzuga, we try to find some, some place to camp and stay for, I don't know, maybe one week or a little bit more and edit our next video. I can't believe it has been almost a month in Morocco already. Yeah. It's insane. It feels just like, I don't know, a few days ago. But it has been really nice. I have enjoyed it. After Merzuga, we are going to cycle towards the west of Morocco and then cycle the west coast of Africa all the way down. And we look forward to the rest of Morocco and the rest of Africa. Let's see how this adventure goes. Bye bye. See you in Sahara. This is very difficult. Why did you force me to come down here? <laughs> okay. Oh, I'm warm.